Welcome back. If you were able to successfully execute the previous example, then you would not need this troubleshooting guide. You can go on to the next steps of the course. However, if you have problems with your installations, then this troubleshooting guide will be really useful to you. Just to remind you, we are in the repository in 28 minutes, getting started in five steps, and we are actually using embedded Maven in Eclipse to manage our dependencies. And you are having a problem with that, so let's get on to the troubleshooting part of it. One of the important things is when we say Eclipse preferences, so whenever we say Eclipse preferences in this specific video, if you are on Windows, then you can actually go to Windows preferences. So in Windows, uh, the same Eclipse preferences is actually under Windows preferences. So you can try that right now. So you'd see that preferences is under the window menu, actually the Windows menu. The first thing you would need to understand is the fact that Maven actually downloads all the dependencies from internet. There's a repository on the internet called Maven repository from where everything is downloaded from. So to be able to run any Maven project successfully, at least the first time you would need a connection to internet. The second thing is from the remote repository, from the Maven repository, Maven downloads all these folders, all these files, all these dependencies, and actually puts them in your local repository. That is called a local repository. To check that, you can actually, if you're on Windows, Windows Preferences, here it's Eclipse Preferences. So Windows Preferences or Eclipse Preferences, and you can go to Maven. So if you go to Maven, you can actually go to User Settings, and you can see the local repository folder in here. So you can actually open that folder up and you would see that there are a lot of files in that folder. If you see that that is empty, then there's some problem with your connection to the internet. The first thing you need to check with, with any project with Maven is the fact that you have to use a JDK with Eclipse. So if you go to Eclipse Preferences and go to Java and go to Install JREs. So it's Eclipse Preferences, Java, and go to Install JREs you'd see that I have JDK installed in here. So you can see that there is a JDK installed in here. If you see that there is a JRE, then you need to actually install a JDK and use JDK in here. So if you want to be able to compile Maven projects and use them, you need to actually use a JDK. Otherwise, you would see an error which would be something similar to this. It would say, Compilation failure, no compiler provided in this environment. Perhaps you are running on a JRE instead of a JDK. So an error of this kind would appear in your errors if you're using a JRE to run Maven projects with Eclipse. To run Maven projects with Eclipse, you need to use a JDK. And the way you can configure that is by Windows Preferences or Eclipse Preferences, Java, Install JREs, and here, you can, if it's not there, you can go ahead and add it. So you can say add, and you can say standard VM, and you can choose the directory where your JDK is installed. So you can choose, even though it's saying a JRE in here, actually you can even choose a JDK directory. Once you choose and add it in, then it would appear in here. Make sure that you're using a JDK. The second thing is you should be connected to the internet. So if you're not connected to the internet, then there is no way a Maven project would work. So if you see something like Maven error dependencies cannot be resolved or something like that, then either you're not connected to internet or you are behind a proxy. So if you're behind a proxy, then you need to actually configure proxy in the Maven settings file. The way you can do that is by going window preferences, Maven user settings, so preferences, Again, go to preferences, this time to the Maven, use settings, and you can see that there's a settings file in here. So you can go to this, you can actually open that file and edit it with all your proxy details. So here is a sample file which is present in here. So this can be used as a settings.xml. Make sure that you are putting your proxy details in here. That's the second thing. So first thing we talked about is you should use a JDK. You should have connectivity to internet. If you don't have connectivity to internet and you have behind a proxy, then you need to configure the proxy in settings.xml. The last one is if, let's say, 
any dependency is partially loaded or if you like see that you are facing you are able to connect to internet you are able to de download some dependencies but i'm not able to download other dependencies in that kind of a scenario then one of the things you can do is to run a command called dependency purge local repository this would re remove everything in the local repository relating to that project and when you run when you build that project again it will try and download everything from the maven repository again so what the way you can do that is just go to the project right click run as maven build with the dot 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 and you can give the goals as dependency purge local repository and say run what this does is actually for all these projects all the dependencies will be deleted from the local repository and you can see that all the dependencies would be downloaded again from the maven repository so this would actually uh, like be a way like if there was let's say a partial download of or if any of your dependencies became corrupt then this is the way you can fix it if this does not work then the last option that you have is to delete the entire local repository so what you can do is go to eclipse preferences user settings go to this directory and delete everything which is present in there that would actually delete everything in your local repository and when you build the project again you would see that everything would be getting downloaded again in this troubleshooting video we looked at the fact that we need to use jdk with eclipse for building maven projects we need a connection to internet or we would need to configure a proxy and the last thing which we looked at is how we can force the download of the dependencies so if there is any corrupt dependency or we feel that some of the dependencies are not properly downloaded then we can purge the local repository or delete our local repository if none of these help you to solve the problem that you are facing then i would request you to put a comment or log a question out there um, specifying the exact details of the problem you are facing so it would be great if actually you can put whatever error you see in the console whatever error you see in the projects in the markers tab so whatever you are seeing in there if you can post all the details of that in the question then that would really help us to figure out what the problem is thanks for watching with this video this has been a long video thanks for your patience and until the next step bye bye